what is going on lads welcome back to another video now you join me here with the focus we are down a little lane in the countryside to record a video for you guys sorry i haven't uploaded in a little while i've been absolutely manic the last two weeks and the weather has been pretty shit today it's pretty on and off as you can see it's sort of sunny but cloudy at the same time here we are with the focus looking pretty pang um, but what we're going to be doing is a video that i've done before with the fiesta and that is talking about the running costs involved with the focus now these cars are quite expensive to insure and they are quite expensive on fuel um, so that's what we're going to be going into today these sort of costs that are involved with running this on a day-to-day -day basis now this isn't my daily car so it's not going to be as expensive as other people using it as a daily but it is a car nonetheless that I do drive quite frequently um, <clears throat> and I do go through quite a bit of fuel so if you do go ahead to enjoy the video make sure to drop it a like obviously subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video So if you don't know already, the Focus has a 2.5 litre petrol turbocharged engine which absolutely rinses for you the, through the fuel. Um, I'm getting about 26 to the gallon at the moment, but that is an average figure. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I'd probably say I'm getting somewhere between 15 and 20 miles a gallon, which is absolutely rubbish. Um, especially as I like to fill up with the V Power or Tesco Momentum just to ensure that I'm putting the best fuel in the car possible. Um, so it can be quite expensive. Um, I think if you were dri uh, daily driving the car, then you probably find yourself filling up at least twice a week. So it's definitely a car that I wouldn't recommend for daily driving, but if you've got the funds to do it, go for it. It's a great, great car to drive. Um, the steering response is brilliant, the way it handles around the corners. And as well as that, the torque. The torque on these cars is definitely a big talking point. Um, everyone loves the torque on these. They have got so much torque and it pulls strong through all the gears, um, which is nice because we love power. Another cost to consider when purchasing a Focus is your insurance. Now I did touch on this in another video. Um, and especially as I'm a young driver, the insurance on this can be quite bad. Now I'm quite fortunate because I have a company car and I think that helps with my insurance as well as the other tips that I did in the video on that. So if you haven't checked out that video, obviously check it out. I'll put a blinking card up in the corner now. Um, but the insurance is definitely a killer. I'm paying around £800 per year on the Focus, um, which again is not too bad. Um, but it can, I have heard real horror stories of people trying to get insured and looking to pay thousands of pounds so that is definitely a big cost involved with running the focus on a day-to-day -day basis um, and again I don't do too many miles so if you did loads of miles a year then your focus insurance is definitely not going to be cheap um, but yeah consider that in mind when you're looking to use one of these as a daily um, or, or looking into the running costs before you buy it consider your insurance Right, the focus, we've had to move the focus. A car has literally just come down this tiny little lane. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What on earth is that? Fuck it now. I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe there was a car coming down here. But anyway, back to the running costs. Another running cost to consider with the focus is the fact that everyone seems to struggle with the drive shafts on these cars because they have got a large amount of torque they seem to tear through drive shafts um, I've seen a lot of posts on the focus pages people asking where to get the best drive shafts from they're changing their drive shafts again and all of this sort of stuff about drive shafts um, touch wood fortunately I haven't had to do any drive shaft work yet I don't know if that's because I don't necessarily drive it like a twat um, or it's just the fact that my drive shafts have already been changed I'm not sure um, but touch wood mine are still going fine so drive shafts something to consider um, another thing to consider as well is the modifications uh, and the cost of those modifications you might see that in the videos I haven't done a mod in a little while it's because they're so expensive the mods on these cars are relatively expensive compared to the Fiesta at least which was my last car um, I have seen other cars that have got 
uh, more expensive mods. Obviously there are going to be cars with more expensive mods, but for the Focus they are quite expensive. So that is the reason why I haven't necessarily done loads of videos and loads of mods to it yet because it is an expensive thing to do. So when you buy one, consider that in mind. I considered it in mind and I just realised that I wouldn't be able to do a mod every other day or every week. Um, I'd have to save up in between and do little mods as I go. Which I quite like because it makes it a little bit of a storyline, makes the car almost like a project, I guess, um, and you know, personalise it to myself. So that is the reason why the mods have a moon flowing on the focus. I have actually got a rear diffuser, um, which I unboxed the other day, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to put it on as yet. I did line it up with the car. Um, and sort of sit it on the back um, just around here and I and I wasn't really sure whether I want it or not so let me know in the comments below whether I should install that or not um, I haven't yet decided myself so should I install the rear diffuser by Rob Galloway or RS Parts it goes along that line there it sits right around the exhaust it fits really nicely but I'm just unsure about it so let me know in the comments below what you boys think whether I should install it to the car or not um, but that is pretty much all the running costs involved there's not too many it's just your usual stuff um, and obviously with the focus just consider the mods the cost of the mods and the reliability problems that some people have had that is mainly all the running costs let me know what you boys think in the comments below if you've got focus yourself anything that I've missed anything like that let me know in the comments below but if you did go ahead to enjoy hopefully you did drop the video a like Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.